said, in as much as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. He wants us to remember him. He wants him to remember that he bled and that he went through some things, saints of God. Let's remind you, what is the purpose of Bible study? There's three reasons why we have Bible study. Yes. Number one is to increase our biblical literacy. Uh -huh. Number two is to elevate our spiritual consciousness. Yes. And number three, we want to implement an intelligent faith yes. Yes. into our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank so you. So we're going to be moving forward tonight with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 It's a hot topic. So we're going to dive right in. To <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. God bless you, Sister Justice. Shonda, she said she's enjoyed Bible study. I'm so glad you're here, Sister Justice. We yes. thank you. Hallelujah. Because you could have been in anywhere, but you've decided to participate with us. So we thank you. God bless you. And as long as we're here, we'll hope that you will come and continue to be with us. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have three questions tonight. Let's, let's go over the questions. Number one, what does the blood of Jesus mean to you? All right. The blood. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> What does the bloody crucifixion of Jesus reveal to all of us? Mm -hmm. And number three, what's the symbolic meaning of the blood of Jesus? Mm -hmm. If you look along the bottom of the ticker here, if you if you can see scrolling across, scrolling across the bottom, mm -hmm. you'll see if you're viewing in YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook, then please add your positive comments or questions. If you got questions, you have to put them in there early enough to give us time to retrieve them. So don't be shy. Don't be bashful. Right. I believe there's a word from the Lord. From the, Lord. <laughs> the Lord has a word for you. Lord amen, God. amen, and amen. Yes, yes. The blood of Jesus. Yes. Question number one. What does the blood of Jesus mean to you? Woo, the blood of Jesus means to me, just like that song, Pastor. You want to just turn the music down just a little bit. But it just means to me about, you guys know the song that we sing on communion first Sunday when it says, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it shall never lose its power. Glory to God. And when you really begin to think about the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, how he shed and died for us. Glory to God. He shed, okay? Mm -hmm. And he died and blood came piercing out of his side. And he didn't selfishly say, Father, you know, forget it. I can't do it. But he said, Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do. Amen. My God. Amen. And I said, Lord, the blood is so special. Hallelujah. It's forgiving. You know, it's comforting to know that God sent his only son. Hallelujah. Yes to die for my sins. So when I think about his blood, I say, what can wash away my sins? Nothing yes. but, but the, the blood, blood of, of Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. And so um, the Bible says, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, glory to God, yes. they shall be white as snow. What does scarlet mean? Scarlet is red. You know, it's, yes. a, it's a coloring of red and you can be yes. so so red, but but understanding that Jesus' blood is, is symbolic to this scripture. It says, though your sins be as scarlet, yeah. they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, yeah. glory to God, they shall be as wool. Amen. Again, on, understanding that our sins, glory to God, Jesus said, I got I to gotta, I gotta cover you with the blood. And just one more thing that the blood means to me is even when Rahab, when she was uh, she was a prostitute and all of that, as you guys all may know. But because when the spirit of the Lord sent some spies over, she hid them in their house. God told yeah. her, you know, we'll let your house and your family survive. He said, yeah. so when I see the blood, I'll pass over. My God. When I see the blood, I'll pass over. And so God marked the houses with blood so that yes. when the death angel came, it had to pass that house because it saw the blood. Amen. When the robbery tried to come to your house, it had to pass because it saw the blood. Glory to God. So it's the blood of Amen. Jesus. So that's what the blood of Jesus means to me. As long as I'm just soaked in the blood, glory yes. to God. God, the demonic spirits, praise God, have to pass over. You know, they're going to try. Right. They're, they're going right. to form, that's but they're right. not going to prosper. We're not gonna prosper. Woo! Go ahead, Pastor. Because of the blood. Yeah. Hallelujah. It, what it means to me is there's always 
the concept that we can overcome. Yes, that's because, good. Yes. Because nothing can trump mm. the blood of Jesus. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. I mean, yes. think about it. Psychologically, the, the very color red mm -hmm. is a color of confidence. Uh -huh. It's a color of excitement. Yes. It's a color of energy. Uh -huh. And it is what they say to be one of the most stimulating of colors. Yes. Uh -huh. People who like red, mm -hmm. we say they're energetic. Uh -huh. We say they're passionate. Uh -huh. We say they're outgoing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And 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 also, you have to see there's a flip side to it. With red, you know, sometimes it means danger. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. it has dual purposes, even in its color. That's right. But just like the Bible is a two-edged sword, mm -hmm. that red. It goes both ways. It deals with yes. the good and it deals with the bad. Amen. Man, that red can be When we talk about the blood of Jesus <laughs> Christ, yes, God. we're talking about the act of dying uh -huh. that leads to our redemption. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And this concept can be tied back all the way back to the Old Testament where they did these sacrifices of animals mm -hmm. because right. in order for your sins to be forgiven, in order for your situation to be atoned, mm -hmm. in order for your issue to be resolved, right. whatever it was, uh -huh. most cases required the shedding of blood or the sacrifice of a bullock. Hallelujah. And, and, and even when you move into the, 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 the normal current day, Jesus, Jesus is the ultimate <laughs> sacrifice now right. for sin in the New Testament. Uh -huh. And in Hebrews uh, 9 and 22 kind of spells it out for us just a little bit. All right. All Hebrews right. 9 and 22 says, in fact, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And without the shedding of blood, there is no come on. There is no remission. No of sin. Come on. forgiveness. Yes, Amen? yes. There is no forgiveness uh -huh. until or unless there is the shedding mm -hmm. of blood. Yes, yes. Hebrews nine and twenty two shows us the real meaning of blood. Uh -huh. You can't be forgiven mm -hmm. except there be some bloodshed. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Metaphorically, it's mm -hmm. saying something else too. You won't get the job promotion until you're willing to fight for it. And when you're willing to fight for some things, there will normally be some losses that'll be incurred. Yes. There yes. will normally be some strength that will be obtained mm -hmm. throughout that process because mm -hmm. you find out something. You got to take some things mm -hmm. by force. Yes. The yes. Bible says that the kingdom suffered violence uh -huh. and the violence take it by, by force. force. In other words, it, it goes back retroactively and segues into what God told me the word was for the people of God for 2022. You will have everything. Somebody everything. say everything. Everything. You will have everything that you are willing to fight for yes. in 2022. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Whatever yes. you're willing to fight for. Whatever you're willing that's to fight what for. you are yes, going to have God. in 2022. Yes. That's the word Hallelujah. of the Lord and that helps me say, what does the blood of Jesus mean to you? It means I've always got a chance. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yes, it means yes. I've always got a chance. No matter what the situation is, no matter how how backed up against the wall we are, no yes. matter how the come odds on, are come stacked on, on. against us, uh -huh. none of that stuff matters. Your situation yes. and the way it looks does not matter mm -hmm. as long as we have access, access. to the blood Yes. Of Jesus. Yes, God. As long as we got access to the blood, access. everything is going to work. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what's so beautiful about it. What the old folks used to say down south uh -huh. the blood of Jesus uh -huh. still works. works. Yes, the blood still works. That's what it means to me. Uh -huh. I've always got a chance. Always got a chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's going to be an early mic dropping moment tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because just think about it. What else do you need besides the blood? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm the, sitting up here stood and my husband has stole my pen. <laughs> my orange pen. Save the serve minister pen. Praise God. <laughs> we don't want to get off the subject though because this is good. Because when Pastor said the blood still works, I remember I'm not sure what choir or what Clark sister came out singing that song. The blood still works. 
But I tell you, one time I was just driving in my car and I got to hearing that sound. I said, yes, God, the blood still works because there's just different songs for different seasons. Amen. Yes. And sometimes you just got to know the blood still works. That's and right. when you start That's thinking right. about and reminiscing yes. and reading about what you read, how they did Jesus, how they pierced him in his side. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Which yes. goes yes. on to the next question. It says, what does the bloody crucifixion of Jesus reveal to us? And I was just like, my God. It reveals so much to me because, it, number one, it just showed me how much I was loved because I don't know about you, but I don't know anybody who's willing to sacrifice their child, you know, for the whole world. Right. Glory to God. You know, nobody's willing to do that. But Jesus, the Lord, our Savior, he was willing to come down and sacrifice himself. And yes. I begin to think about just what he might have been going through because he was transparent enough to tell us over in the uh, Garden of Gethsemane where he said that, Lord, if this be your will, let this cup pass yes. for me, from me, you know, but nevertheless, Lord, your will be done. And could you imagine having to carry a big old cross uh, that you're getting ready to die upon? Could you imagine people slapping you and spitting on you and all you can do is just pray and say, Lord, yes. Yes, Lord, I'll still serve you. Yes, Lord, I'll still. And a lot of times he showed us that, that yes. this, this, this is uh, how I know that you all can make it because I made it. Glory right. to God. That's right. And um, I don't want to get too ahead of myself on here, but the bloody uh, crucifixion definitely reveals to me Jesus love. Glory to God. And it just reveals to me that he was man, man enough to die, but God enough to rise again. Hallelujah. Amen. And so with that being said, go ahead, Pastor. <clears throat> By comparison, the spirit world will always trump the natural world. I think I said that a moment ago because the blood will always supersede all other things. Come on. Yeah. Somebody say put some word on put it. Put some word on it. Let's see what it says in Hebrews chapter number four, verse number 15. Yeah. It says, for we have not in high priests. Uh-huh which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, yeah. but was in all points tempted, uh -huh. like as we are, yet yeah, without, without sin. sin. Was that there is a biblical love mm -hmm. and there's a natural love. Right, right. Uh -huh. Because the Bible says in John 3 and 16, for God so loved Come on, Pastor. the world. Yes. He gave his only begotten son. His only begotten son. Some people wouldn't give an ant a cracker <laughs> out of the garbage can. <laughs> Because some people don't understand biblical love. Uh -huh. We call each other brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. We say I love you. Mm -hmm. But it's really all about showing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In 2022, it's time for show and tell. Come on. Uh, all right. Hallelujah. All right. We, we, we can't honor God with our lips and think that's all it takes. Mm, come on. We have to honor God with our actions. With our actions. That's good, Pastor. That is so good. And I, I, something that you said just reminded me that um, we can't just talk about it. That's we right. have to show it. That's but right. The, but the word love, how you say it, because God's love is agape. It's yeah. unconditional. unconditional. You know, right. he doesn't care where you've been, where you yes. look like. And a lot of times we care what people look like before we invite them in. Let's just keep it real, right? We care yes. what people what we look like before we'll hook up with him. But I believe that in this hour, we have to be ready to witness to those who don't look like us. We yeah. have to be ready. Let's just say if you might run into somebody who has a lot of tattoos on their body, but yet they, they accepted Jesus Christ as their savior. But we don't shun them away because that was then. They're a new creature now, but they have those tattoos, right? But sometimes if you say, well, tell me about that tattoo. What made you get that one? That's a conversation that people sometimes is yearning to have with you because you don't know their story. That's right. You don't know where they come from. If you That's see right. a picture of a woman and a scripture, or you may see all kind of things. You might even see one of a dragon and it's demonic, but he might say, hey, I used to be under a curse. You know, but the Lord set me free. That's you know, right. so there's so many stories. So let's not get uh, uh, judging a book by its cover because they have earrings in their nose and they got piercings up here in their eyebrows and all that. It's no, it's just their heart is right. Because how many know when they get Jesus in their life, God has a way of cleaning folks up because we can't change nobody, but we can show them love and we can show them compassion and we can show That's them right. the way to the cross. Praise God. Amen. That's so good. Yeah. That's so good. And what what is a bloody cru crucifixion of Jesus revealed to you? It reveals to me that 
I was bought with a price. Uh huh. And there is a debt that I could never repay to God. Yes. First Corinthians 6 and 20 says it like this. Uh -huh. For you were bought with a price, at a price. Yes. Therefore, glorify God in your body uh -huh. and in your spirit, which right. are God's. Uh -huh. er, <laughs> your body and your spirit does not belong to me. Uh -uh. My body and my spirit does not belong to me. Uh -uh. It belongs to God. Yes. That's why we do what we do. That's why we try to glorify God with everything. Even on your job, the Bible even says this. Uh, do it as if unto the Lord. Unto the Lord, whatever your hands. Wh whatever your hands are there to do. Mm -hmm. Whatever your hands try to do. Whatever your hands are mixed up in doing. Try yes. to do it with a heart that mm -hmm. says it's unto the Lord. Yeah, I want to yeah. give glory to God for even blessing me to have a decent job. Come on, come on, Pastor. I want to give glory to yes. God for giving me the opportunity to open up the door for the promotion. Yeah. I want to oh, give glory yeah. to God that I even started on my 401k. Yeah. I want to give glory to God that my IRA is getting bigger. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I want to yeah. give glory to God because even though I don't like the job like that, uh -huh. it pays the bills. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> we were bought with yes. a price. Yes, yes. And the best thing that we could ever do to say thank you to the Lord is to live a life that glorifies Him. Him. Yes, praise God. You know, um, it's something because last night when we were going over this lesson and what have you, and I was telling my husband, he said something about the blood, how the blood requires a sacrifice, you know. Yeah. And how I was telling him that um, when you were younger and you had a best friend, you would take a pen and you would pierce yourself on your fingers and then you would rub it together and say, now we're blood sisters. And that's just how the blood works. Hallelujah. It's a covenant with Jesus Christ. Once we accept him into our life, you know, the blood of Jesus. Yes. I don't know. A lot of times we plead the blood of Jesus over a lot of areas of our life, over demonic spirits. We plead yeah. the blood of Jesus, but the blood still works. The blood of Jesus, if it was no shedding for the blood, hallelujah, we would not be here today. Amen. And so understanding the importance of the blood of Jesus, understanding the importance that he bled and died for us. And so when we look at question number three, it said, what's the symbolic meaning of the blood of Jesus? And that's one thing that I thought about is becoming blood sisters, but also understanding, hallelujah, that uh, like pastor was saying, we are not our own. Right. And so you understand that in the Old Testament, you, you couldn't get your sins forgiven unless there was some shedding of the blood. Yeah, you right. know, you couldn't right. go nowhere. You couldn't really be free until there was a shedding of the blood. And it couldn't be just any old animal. It had to be a pure <laughs> heifer or a pure whatever, a pure lamb. You know, but it's just the whole point, glory to God, that the symbolic meaning of the blood of Jesus is really understanding the road that Jesus took. Really understanding that when we break bread on every first Sunday, that it's symbolic to what Jesus said. You know, here's hey. my my body, which I which I died for you. You know, break and eat. Yes. And here's the, the the blood, Hallelujah, that came streaming out of my body. You know, drink, glory to God. He said, and in as much as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. He wants us to remember Him. He right. wants him to remember that he bled and that he went through some things, saints of God. Yes. And so now I'm going to turn it over to Pastor. He's going to give you some nuggets and put some word on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing a moment ago because we were talking about there has to be the shedding of blood yeah. before you, know, you resolve the issue or get forgiven or whatever. Mm -hmm. Think about it. With your child, mm -hmm. there has to be the mm -hmm. shedding of some some flesh <laughs> before we will let them get out of the situation that they're in right, right now. Right, right. Uh-huh. That's kind of a practical way of looking at it as well. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But the symbolic meanings are very important. Yes, yes. Because there could be many symbolic meanings. Mm -hmm. For instance, just a general principle. The blood represents divine life, and we know that it runs through our body. Yes, yes. And we also know if you study it or have enough knowledge, mm -hmm. and particularly for those who are in the nursing mm -hmm. field, medical field, the blood is actually in our body blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when the oxygen hits it, like if you cut your hand, mm -hmm. the oxygen hits that blood, mm -hmm. it turns red. Yes. Mm -hmm. So just on general principle, it, it, it represents life. 
Yes, that, God. that's that's one thing that's Woo! symbolic about Jesus. it. Secondly, yeah, glory to God. it represents redemption. Mm. The way Jesus. that it represents Jesus. redemption is in the Old Testament, we had to take a bullock, create an altar, mm -hmm. sacrifice the bullock, yes. and take the blood uh -huh. and use it for whatever reason mm -hmm. to overcome their situation. Yes. When the yes. death angel came to visit in Egypt. They took the blood and they smeared it across the doorposts uh -huh. so that the death angel would know, don't come here. That's right. That's right. You're not allowed to be here. That's right. This is holy ground. Holy ground. It's symbolic in so many ways. Uh -huh. Likewise, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the life, blood uh -huh. of the victim come on, Pastor. that's come on. being sacrificed is actually the source of atonement. So whenever we shed blood, mm -hmm. it's a source of atonement. Yeah. Whenever we give up cigarettes, uh -huh. it's a source of atonement. Yeah. Whenever we give up liquor, mm -hmm. it's a source of atonement. Uh -huh. Whenever we give up promiscuous sex, uh -huh. it's a it's 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 a source, a source of atonement. Of atonement. Yeah. The, the sacrifice is the source of the atonement. You're mm -hmm. giving up something. The bullock had to give up their life and their like their life blood. Uh -huh. They're like fluid. Uh -huh. We have to give up some things. Yeah, that's why Catholics have Lent every year. Well, I'm uh -huh. giving up such and such for Lent. Uh -huh. Some of them give it up, and then 45 days later, when Lent is over, uh -huh. pick it right back up. Uh -huh. We want to give it up and be done. Yes, and explain what atonement means, Pastor. Atonement means at oneness, mm -hmm. coming back mm -hmm. into a place where you're in perfect will and alignment with God. Yes. Yes. That's what it is. Uh -huh. it, it, it's all about coming back into a place of oneness. Yeah. Think about it like this. We do communion every first Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. What really is that? That's communion. I call it get out of jail free card with God <laughs> every month. Because mm -hmm. he's the only one that will let us start over. Am I right or am I wrong? Right. Mm -hmm. So 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 what we're looking at here is just dealing with atonement all by itself. Atonement is when we're being crystallized back into oneness with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Coming back to a place where we're on point. Yes. On in focus. Mm -hmm. In stride with God. Dancing to the beat of God's drum and not the devil. Mm -hmm. Letting God move through us and not allowing ourselves to be, yes. you know, yes. puppets on a string for the enemy. Right, right. I um also um when Pastor was talking about the blood. And how I, I heard, uh, i never forget, uh, one of the, uh, Candy Staten actually was testifying. And she was t saying how um, her son or nephew or someone was riding a bike. They fell off and the ankle broke. And it was so bruised or it was just like black and blue, you know, and it was just like crazy. And so when they mm -hmm. got him to the hospital, you know, she had asked the doctor, she said, why is it so black and blue and what have you? Mm -hmm. And he said, because the blood rushes to the place that hurts the most. Yes. And when yes. she said that, we thought about the blood of Jesus. That's beautiful. Because Jesus rushed to us. Yes. You know, he said, "Any if, if there it be any man that desire to come after me, let him take up his cross and follow, follow me, me daily. Jesus saw our pain. He saw our hurt. He rushed to us. And he said, give it to me. If I can bear it. He hey. said, give it to me. I can take it. He said, if there is a problem in your life, he said, give it to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give it to me because... His blood rushes yeah, to the to place me. that hurts <laughs> the most. Hey, the blood of Jesus. He's asking for it. Yes. If, if yes. you think about it like that, yes. God is asking for our. That's why the Bible says, "Cast your care, cast your care upon Him, upon Him." Don't, don't walk around with worry. Yes. When you got the blood. Yes. No need to walk around in in, in low self esteem mm -hmm. as long as you got the blood. Yes. For he it's, said his yoke is easy. Yes. And his burden is light. Yes. And Lord. a lot of times, you know, we're we're carrying things that we don't have to. It's yes. like the son said, "Oh, what needless pain we bear!" Yes. All because we don't take everything to God in prayer. prayer. If we would just Woo. take it to God in prayer and leave it there. You know, and I and I, I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was Al Green that sent us. I wonder the Lord will make a way somehow. Al Green. And one yeah. of the the wor wordings of the song or the lyrics of the song was, 
You know, I wonder what have I done to make this race so hard to run? He said, but I'll <laughs> say to my soul, take courage. The Lord will make a way somehow. And we got to know that the Lord will make a way somehow yes. because we have given it all to him. Yes. And we can just plead the blood of Jesus. When you're hey. going through some situations, plead the blood, the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus over my children. I plead the blood of Jesus over my parents. I plead the blood of Jesus over my cousins, my uncles. I Plead the blood of Jesus. Yes, Why? Lord. Because the blood of Jesus can get through places where everybody else can't. Glory to God. That's it can right. go through the cracks. Hallelujah. It can go all the way to D.C. Hallelujah. While I'm here in Oregon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it flows like a river. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The blood. The blood. The yes. blood. Hallelujah. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. And that's the next part I want to talk about in this question number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we, we see what the blood means. Yes. We see what the crucifixion means. Uh -huh. we, we see the symbolic meaning of the blood of Jesus. Yes. But I said this yesterday on my invite video, and I got to resolve it tonight. Uh -huh. I said, what good is it to have the blood uh -huh. if you don't know how to use it? Mm. My God, my God, that's deep. That's heavy. That's heavy. Pastor. If you think about it, what mm. good is it to... First of all, it's not a very popular topic with non-Christians to talk about the blood because this is what I call the upper echelon of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding yes. when it comes to the, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. Because not only can some people not really, you know, eschatologically receive this message. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Some of them hermeneutically are thinking in their minds, what is this blood? What is this all about? You're talking about blood that was shed over 2,000 years ago uh -huh. that now I have access to and I can apply that same blood mm -hmm. to my current situation. Well, first of all, I got a problem even just believing and have faith in a God that I cannot see with my naked eye. Come on, come on. Build a bridge and get over it. Hallelujah. <laughs> the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is one of those secret uh, uh, let me call it spiritual trade secrets mm -hmm. that most people don't understand. Mm -hmm. You have the blood. Yes. You have the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. You have God's grace. I mean, you've got some things that are, I call them the, uh, the intangibles. Mm -hmm. Things that you cannot control. Uh -huh. You cannot control God's grace. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot control, you know, God's mercy. All right. You cannot control God, the blood of Jesus that was shed. Uh -huh. you, you, there are a lot of things. You know, how do you use the blood? What's the purpose of having the blood? Mm -hmm. Here it is. All right. When something comes up in your life mm -hmm. and you have tried everything else, yes, yes, you can plead the blood. The blood, yes. Why Lord. do we get to plead mm -hmm. the blood? Jesus. You get to plead the blood. Because we have a covenant mm -hmm. with God. In that covenant <laughs> with God, God he saw that we would not be able to handle life here on earth yes. by ourselves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're all we're only human. Yes. He said, I'm gonna have to send some help uh -huh. down there. Yes. So, long story short, we have the Immaculate Conception. Jesus is now on the scene. All right. He's 33 years old. Uh-huh. And what it took for us to be redeemed. Yes. Since they don't go by bullocks anymore. Uh-huh. Since they're not out there, you know, sacrificing any of the other animals and the lambs anymore for this. Sins are now being forgiven, uh -huh. according to the New Testament, yes. by the shedding of blood. Uh -huh.